Hi, Kieran here again. Now in this video, I'm going to be going through the desktop app for Easy Video Suite. Now the desktop app for Easy Video Suite is a very simple uh, tool, but extremely powerful. And that's what Easy Video Suite represents and is the vision of Josh Bartlett. Simple yet powerful. Okay, so what we have here is the, this is the main um, center for the conversions of videos and I'm going to grab uh, some videos to put into here and I've got uh, four different uh, file types here and the very good thing about the um, easy video suite is that it can actually convert videos to web ready videos ready to play on any device your laptop your desktop your uh, tablets your smartphones just with drag and drop and we're going to do that now and I'll take this uh, WMV file drag and drop into the areas uh, to to convert now you can actually take multiple files and process them in here as well so I'll demonstrate that um, And there we go and so we can actually upload and convert them uh, in in uh, in queue so what I'm going to do is click on this one here which is FB3 now I can rename the video and uh, we'll call this uh, Facebook webinar replay and there it is it's been changed over for the name now the upload button here this is going to go through a process uh, there's a the um, the the progress um, indicator there five percent and that'll just process through it's a, a semi large file uh, and that will convert the video through to an mp4 web ready highly optimized for any device for um, playback online now the really cool thing about easy video suite is that while it goes through this rendering process this conversion process it's actually creating multiple versions at different screen resolutions designed for every device out there as i mentioned the laptop desktop tablet and smartphone and it's invisible in the background this process is happening right now but as a user they don't see that now when it gets played back on the website when you've embedded it on your website via easy video suite it will easy video suite will intelligently detect the device that you're watching it on and serve the best available quality video to that device in real time very very powerful and uh, you know think about this handbrake no longer do we need handbrake no longer do we need to muck around with the settings of uh, handbrake no longer do we need to create multiple different files using handbrake and adjust and change the settings and hope that we got it right we don't have to do that anymore all we do and as you can see here we dragged it and dropped it now this is the uh, this is the WMV file remember WMV and it's getting converted to a web ready video um, now the other thing I haven't changed it down below here you can actually save a copy of this file there it is now it's uploading to uh, my easy video suite uh, dashboard and that's what we'll we'll talk about in a little while um, so we could save it as a local uh, local um, on our local hard hard drive and I have done that so that's down here now this slider here this slider is uh, relating to the quality of the of the video so you can either have the quality up here for the highest uh, highest screen resolution or down here the uh, smallest screen resolution and uh, anywhere in the middle here works perfectly fine I'm playing with a few different uh, settings uh, as I as I play with the easy video suite and they're all coming out with excellent web ready videos mp4 and everything is ready to go no more handbrake no more mucking around and wasting time it's all here okay I'm gonna stop that because uh, I don't um, want to uh, process it for um, for this video and uh, so we just hit the delete key that's fine so we've got three three files left 
Now, if we wanted to um, edit any of these, and let's say we take this one here, we can go and hit this edit button. And that's going to bring up the simple editor. So, as well as uh, record, which I'll show you in a moment, we can actually edit this video. So, if we want to take out, you know, the, the start of it, and we just hit cut here, and that will remove the section. Uh, if we wanted to move that to the end, and we wanted to adjust and cut off the end, and we just hit cut, we can adjust that. And it will also play back that section of video. So, we just hit play, and we've got a preview player right here. And if we're finished with it, we just hit finish. And if we don't want it anymore, we just hit cancel. And that'll take us back to our desktop app.